Hi guys! Welcome to church for Home of Christ Kids. I'm Miss Stacy, and we've got our good friend Olaf here with us today. And it looks like he is pretty excited about what's happening next in our Bible story today. Can you guess what takes place in today's part of the Christmas story? we will hear about an angel. An angel who came to a girl named Mary. And this angel was a messenger with a pretty incredible message. You see, God loved us so much that he made a plan to rescue us. And Mary was a part of his plan. Mary would give birth to a son Jesus, who would be the savior of the world. Wow, that must have been surprising for Mary to hear this from the angel. In fact, she may not have fully understood all of God's plan at that time, but she knew God and she trusted that God would be with her. You know, I love hearing this about Mary and the angel because it reminds me that even when I don't understand what God is doing, I can trust him. I can trust God's plan. So look for that lesson from Luke chapter one at the end of the video. And now a little announcement. Now, some of you might have participated in decorating a giant Christmas house last winter as part of our church's Christmas light show. Now, if you don't remember what I'm talking about, let me refresh your memory with a little video. Aren't those such fun? These houses are part of a bigger event happening here at the church. It's a giant nighttime Christmas light display and it's a drive-through format. So it's totally safe and comfy. It's happening this weekend and next weekend here at the church. And all the specific details can be found in the parent newsletter. So I hope you can come and see all the cool lights and the awesome Christmas village houses created by some of our Hawk 5 kids. So until next week, remember that we love you and God is good all the time.
remember thinking when I was a little bit smaller That all my days would be filled with happiness and fun But then I discovered it's not that easy Some days can get you down but the rest is up to us I won't hesitate to see something great Cause I choose, I choose joy, joy. And a little bit of laughter To spin some bad luck into a real good time It doesn't matter what life brings You gotta focus on the bright side You can be thankful, be grateful The choice is yours and mine I won't hesitate to see something great Cause I choose, I choose joy Start the show. Aren't you going to come over to the desk? Oh, I will when my shift is over. You... What? I'm on tree duty. I didn't want to pay extra for the ones that twinkle. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Welcome to the So and So Show. Yeah, this is our most decorated and festive time of year because we are celebrating the Christmas season. Yep, and one thing I really love is exchanging Christmas presents with the people that mean the most to me. Mm -hmm. Like you, Brandon. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Hey. What? For me? Yeah. Oh. Of course, I know we don't always get along perfectly, but you're my best friend, John. Oh, well, mm -hmm. thanks, buddy. Brandon, you are my best friend. Hey, should we open them now or wait until Christmas? Oh, let's open them now. Okay, I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Oh, huh. The world will awaken with, with, this pen isn't even that old. Hey, Brandon. Hey, 
What's what's wrong with you? Nothing. It's my pen is is out of ink, and I haven't finished writing my poem yet. I, I was so close. Oh, oh well, let me see. Let me see. Uh, yeah, come here. Come okay. Here. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Over the mountain tops, the sunrise peaks in beams of warmth. The day is beginning. Soon, all the world will awaken with. Is that it? It's, it doesn't make much no, sense. Like I said, my pen is out of ink, so I haven't finished it yet. Uh. It's supposed to say, soon all the world will awaken with its light. Mm, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It doesn't rhyme, though. Not all poetry rhymes, John. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> you just going to carry that thing around with you everywhere you go? Uh-huh, thing? No, yeah. no, no. This is a ball autographed by the 2018 Atlanta United Championship winning team. Oh, well, that, I, 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 I can't put it down anywhere unless somebody try to kick it or, or scoff it or, or insult it or, or hurt its feelings. Huh? Okay, that sounds a bit extreme. No, I can't risk it. Mm -mm. All right, if you say so. Mm hmm. Hmm. John has been carrying that autographed soccer ball everywhere with him for a month. I finally just realized what to get him for Christmas this year. It's perfect. I'll get him a display case that he can put his soccer ball in. Then he, he can always see it and doesn't have to worry about anything happening to it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. What are you smiling at? Oh. But I'm not smiling. I just had an idea. Oh, okay. All right. No ink. <sighs> hmm. I should get Brandon a really good gift this year. I, I just don't know what to get him. <laughs> All he cares about now is his poetry journal. Quoting from it and writing in it. If his pen would work, that is. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I've got it! <laughs> now you're smiling weird. What? No, I'm not smiling. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> 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 For my soccer ball? Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about anything happening to it. Right. That's very, um, very thoughtful. Hey, where is your soccer ball anyway? I haven't, I haven't seen you with it in a couple of days. Yeah, well, I sold You, you sold it? Why would you do that? <laughs> to buy you your Christmas gift. Oh. Come on, go on, let's see it. Let's see it. You sold your soccer ball mm. to get me another soccer ball? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to give you the best gift possible. I don't like soccer. It's not just any soccer ball, though. Look, 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 look. It's a poetry ball. Look. Oh, yeah. I found a bear with no hair, so I fed it a pear. Those, those words rhyme. Hey, look, look. Uh, oh, oh, look. Don't be mean. Eat your greens. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and you, you could add stuff to it, too, you know? If, if your pen worked. <laughs> See, now that would have been a good gift. What, a pen? Yes. Uh, I should have never sold my poetry journal. You sold your poetry yes, journal? to buy you your Christmas gift. Uh, Brandon, that is so kind of you. Well, yeah, I guess. Though it is still a little tragic you bought me this case, and I can't even use it. It's like it's meant to be. Look. Oh, it fits. Oh, and you can still read the poetry. It's on there. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, guys. Hey, Kellen. Um, what are you guys up to? Uh, just a little Christmas gift exchange. Ooh, that sounds fun. Did you get anything for me? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Of course. Yeah. Brandon? Yeah. Yeah, but I, you have to wait until Christmas. Uh, 
Okay, fair enough. Christmas is getting pretty close, though. And speaking of, let's get into our Bible story today. Great idea. Yeah. Today, we're looking in the first chapter of the book of Luke, where we meet Jesus' mom, Mary. And here to help me tell the story are the so-and-so show players. <laughs> Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. He came from the family line of David. Now, Mary lived in a small town called Nazareth. I love the simple life. Nothing crazy ever happens to me. Just knitting in my room. Simple as life can be. Suddenly, an angel named Gabriel appeared to her. Mary! Ah! Hello, small young woman. I'm an angel. <laughs> See my wings? Uh, just to be clear, we don't actually know if the angel had wings or not. <laughs> Mary! Ah! Greetings, human. I'm an angel. Whoa. Yeah, hmm. The truth is, we don't know what Gabriel looked like. Though, that version, well, that might be a bit distracting for our viewers. Fine, fine, fine. Back to the wings. Where were we? You greet me and I'm terrified. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. right. <sighs> Mary! Ah! <laughs> what kind of greeting is this? <laughs> Do not be afraid. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. Say what? You must call him Jesus. He'll be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High God. Say what? And he'll rule as a king forever over his people, and his kingdom will have no end. Say what? Do I really need to repeat all that? No, seriously, uh, how can this happen? I'm a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High God will cover you so that the Holy One that's born will be the Son of God. Whoa. <laughs> Your relative, Elizabeth, will give birth even though she's old. People thought she couldn't have children, but she's been pregnant for six months now. Hmm? What God says will happen always comes true. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. <laughs> After the angel left, Mary decided to go visit her relative, Elizabeth. She hurried off to the town where Elizabeth and her husband lived. Elizabeth was pregnant just like the angel said. Oh, greetings, Elizabeth. Oh, Mary, God has blessed you more than any other woman and blessed is your child. You are the mother of my Lord. <laughs> it's pretty incredible, right? Yes, yes, the moment I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside me jumped for joy. <laughs> you are blessed because you believe that the Lord will keep his promises to you. Mary was so amazed at what was happening to her. She praised God. Some people think she even sang out loud. My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my Savior. Sing along. Okay, I, I, I don't think I know this one. <laughs> wicca, wicca, wicca. He is taking note of me even though I am lowly. All people will call me blessed. Yeah, so Mary's song goes on for a while. And I mean, how could it not? She was chosen to be the mother of Jesus, the Son of God. And she was blown away by God's mercy and faithfulness. The end. Let's give it up for the so-and-so show players, everyone. I bet Mary did not see that coming. An angel and a new baby? I, I, totally. How can you plan for something like that? 
absolutely. But remember, after Gabriel told her everything, Mary said, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Even though it wasn't in her plans, she trusted God and said yes to him. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. <laughs> See you guys. God had a plan for Mary all along. Yeah, true. And she trusted God even though things worked out differently than she expected. Mm -hmm. Has that ever happened to you? It has. I'll bet it's happened to them, too. Oh, aha. Then reveal the question. Ah, when has something worked out differently than you expected? Yeah, it could be a big, life-changing event, like yeah, in Mary's case. Yeah, maybe you moved or you got put on a different soccer team than your friends. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you got a Christmas gift that you didn't want. Oh, that would stink. Mm -hmm. Now, whether it's something hard or wonderful, it's helpful to remember that God has a plan and is with us no matter what. So talk about it together. When has something worked out differently than you expected? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey you're liking that poetry ball more than you expected. Am I right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew it. He likes it. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, wait, 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 where's, where's your soccer ball? I sold it to, to get my journal back. But, but, what? Well, what am I gonna put in this thing? I'm sure you'll think of something. Thanks for watching the So-and-So Show, everybody. See you next time. Bye. What are you gonna do that? Cool. You look like an 80s band. A whole band? Yeah. More than one person? Here, I think this might fit on the outside. <gasps> it really doesn't. It doesn't fit at all. Penalty! That's right, we've got a penalty kick here, folks. Here we go, we're gonna kick it into the goal. Five, three, two, one. He got hit in the shin, but he grabs his face anyway. Oh! <laughs> oh, cut it. Hey, everyone. Who's ready to play a game? I know I am. You're about to see several snowmen on the screen. One of these snowmen has a cookie hidden in his top hat. The snowman will then get shuffled up, but your challenge will be to keep your eye on the snowman with the cookie. Think you can do it? If so, let me hear you say, oh yeah! All right, here we go. Okay, shout out, one, two, or three, if you think you know which snowman has the cookie. Great job, everyone. Let's try another. This one will be a little faster. Whoa, that was fast. Did you keep track of the cookie? If so, shout it out. One, two, or three, if you think you know which snowman has the cookie. Great job, everyone. Uh, let's try another one. This time with four snowmen. Ooh, that was definitely a little trickier. <laughs> Shout out the number if you think you know where the cookie is. Nice job. Now. Let's try it again, but a little faster. Okay, that was really tough. Did you keep your eye on the cookie? If so, shout it out. One, two, three, or four. Way to go. <laughs> that was really challenging. But what happened? if we add in one more snowman. Ah, 
All right, who knows where the cookie is at? Shout it out if you know it. Nice job. Now, can you do it if the snowmen go even faster? Okay, that was just crazy. <laughs> Does anybody know where the cookie is? Wow! Anybody who could keep their eye on that snowman must really love gingerbread cookies. Great job, everyone.